Okay, so I had a request of how to potentially scale the Johnny Bot character, and um, it's definitely not straightforward. Um, he's a tricky little character. Um, my first thought on this was simply to scale, uh, go into his geometry and um, scale down his geometry like this, which seems to work. Uh, the only problem with that was, if anybody's tried it, is that he starts to slide away from his um, controllers, which clearly is a bad thing. So we wouldn't want to do it that way. But as a possible alternative that I can't see any problem with as of yet, what you can do is select the geometry of the character, go into vertices, select his vertices, Go to scale and scale him down that way. Okay. Um, the advantage of this is um, when you move his controllers now, he does move with them. Um, it seems to respect everything that you would want. There's the top of them and it stops right there. This is the bottom and he squashes right there. Uh, the only odd thing I would say about this, though, is that um, when you hop him or move him down the street, all of a sudden his butt is sort of floating up in the air. Um, I wouldn't necessarily... Well, let's experiment with that for a second. Curious, if we took his vertices and moved them down to the bottom, let's say like that, would he still function? And I have no idea. I'm literally doing this as you're watching it because I just thought of it. Um, okay, let's just grab this. And that seems to work. And if we grab this, that seems to work. And if you grab his movement, um, it seems to move. And he seems to stay with that. Now, this all seems to work pretty good. Um, so in that regard, this may be a potential solution to his issues. So we put him back up here. So he is sitting on the base. And um, I haven't found anything that would uh, prevent him from working like this. Okay, so there's a potential solution for you as far as um, getting a small Johnny bot to work and it seems like most of his other controls will work as well so all you need to do is go into the characters vertices select his vertices and either scale them or move them back down to the base and that seems to help the character work okay um, the next thing somebody brought up was the ideal of pinning things to Johnny okay well, um, I have a script, and I'm going to post it for you. It's called DJ Rivet. Okay, it's right here. And um, it has an install. Um, life's too short for you guys to figure that out right now. So I'm not even going to bother explaining it. The simplest thing you can do is um, go into your um, Autodesk folder. On Windows, it'll be under um, your documents, Maya and then the version of um, Maya that you're using 2014 probably and there's a scripts folder and just dump it into there and it's called djrivet.mel okay and what this does is actually kind of handy I'll show you what this does really quick let's say this was going to be a hat that I was going to sit on DJ on little dude's head okay let me just pop this up here for a second, up there, something like that. Okay. And I'll just kind of move it over so it would sit on the top of his head more the way you would expect it to. Something like that. Or it could be a button on a shirt. It could be pretty much anything. It makes no difference. What this script does is it, uh, well, under the hood, it basically plants a hair follicle on the object on the receiving object and uh, it helps it stick right to it no matter what you do to deform it okay 
So what you would do is you would select the object or the hat or the button or whatever it is you want to connect to Johnny and then you would shift select Johnny okay and if you put that script in the right place you should be able to just go down to the Mel line here and type in DJ capital R I E DJ rivet okay and if I do that and I hit enter now when I move Johnny he moves and you might think to yourself well I could have done that with parenting well the one thing you can't do with parenting though is if you stretch or deform Johnny okay in this case um, my prop will stay with Johnny no matter what you do to him so if I bend to Johnny rotate Johnny the hat will stay with him okay and you can do this for multiple objects on the same character and it should work just fine and this is the shrunken Johnny so uh, that's kind of cool so we should be able to uh, grab this and move it back and forth and again on the bottom uh, stretch him out or on the top move that okay so whatever we do this will stick so once again I'll leave this script for you it's a free script you can get it on Creative Crash it's called DJ Rivet and I hope this was helpful good luck guys